Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new LinkedIn Live event. On I always do this on Fridays for my Tuesday LinkedIn Live. So I'm going to walk you through how I schedule my events on LinkedIn. So first thing I want to do is I want to come here. I want to be on the home screen of StreamYard and I want to create a LinkedIn live stream. Not doing a recording, not doing a webinar. So I'm just going to go ahead click that and the first thing is I have to tell it where is the destination so I'm not doing a pre-recorded video we'll be doing this live in the studio and so I want to choose my LinkedIn profile so there that is and I also want to co-stream to YouTube as well so now I'm gonna to have to put in the title the description and some other things and what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and make this just a little bit smaller. And what I like to do is I like to have everything in a folder all ready to go. So here is all my stuff with my thumbnail and I also have my text up. So let's go ahead and open that. And then that way I make this a little bit smaller now. And then that way I don't have to sit here and think i don't like to think so i'm just going to go ahead i'll see if i can make this a bit smaller and here is my title own your own lane establishing authority through writing a book so i'm going to go ahead and copy that and i will put that in the title so there we go and then here is my description which i have already written out so i'm going to go ahead and copy that and I will paste that in the description. So there we go. I don't have to now go ahead and type all this stuff. So I've already done this. Join us as we discuss and blah, 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 blah. There's the description. And then I want to schedule this for later because I want this to go out on Tuesday. So I'm gonna come over here. And anytime you're not sure what something is, you can just go ahead and cursor over this question mark and it'll tell you, you know, you can schedule and what you're allowed to and blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do schedule for later. So then says, oh, when later? When do you want to go? So my computer is set to Pacific time. So I am not going to do this today. I'm gonna to click on today and that pulls up a little calendar. So I'm going to do it on Tuesday the 21st and it's going to be at 10 a.m. So Tuesday, 21st at 10 a.m. And then at this point, I can upload a thumbnail. Uh, if I don't have a thumbnail, I can actually click on this and create with AI, but I already have a thumbnail, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna come here and click Upload Thumbnail. And I will go back to my bit. And here is my thumbnail I've already got ready, which I did in Canva. So it says Tuesday, May 21st, 2024, 6 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Own your lane, establishing authority through writing a book. Here's me, here is Michelle. So here is my thumbnail ready to go. So I click apply. So now I've got the thumbnail in, it shows up here. And if I don't like it, I can change it and gives me a little bit of information here. LinkedIn doesn't allow starting more than two hours late. LinkedIn doesn't allow starting more than 15 minutes early. LinkedIn doesn't support editing the start time once it's created. So you have to be very clear that you're not making any mistakes because otherwise you'd have to cancel the event and it's a bit of a nightmare. So just make sure you've got all your ducks in a row. It's the right time, right date, everything is good and then click here where it says customize for each destination. So at this bit, you're just kind of confirming that yes, I wanna to go to LinkedIn, yes, I wanna go public to YouTube, because I do want everybody to see this, and that one thumbnail will be applied. This is gonna create a post on LinkedIn, an event post on LinkedIn, and it's also going to create a post on um, YouTube. So the thumbnail will get pushed out to both as is my description and everything else. So it's really nice, Mission Control, you do everything in StreamYard and it pushes out to all the platforms. So if I look at this and I'm all good to go, then I would do 
create live stream. Okay, so here it is. Own your own lane. It's created. I see that it's scheduled. And so at this point, I saw that I created it today. It's scheduled for May 21st at 10 a.m. So I know when I'm going to hop in there and do stuff. And even on a scheduled live, when you go into the studio, until I hit that go live button, it doesn't start. So it's not like live start automatically. It's just scheduled now sitting ready and waiting for me. And at this point, I can enter the studio, which I don't need to do. Although actually, sometimes I do like to go in the studio. And this is just kind of like saves me some work later. And that if I enter the studio, I might want to go ahead and upload that thumbnail so it's ready to go for next week. So I'm going to go ahead and put that thumbnail in. And there we go. There's the thumbnail for the live. And sometimes that's also, I'm going to, I'm deleted last week's. That's also an easy way to go live is if you don't want to use an intro and an outro, just show the thumbnail and then hit the go live button and then turn the thumbnail off because thumbnails, they just toggle on, toggle off because it's like StreamYard shows it or hides it, shows it, hides it. So that's what I mean by toggling on and toggling off. So anyways, there it is. So I'll just go ahead and leave that and I will leave the studio because I'm not ready to go live yet. So I'm going to leave the studio and there we go. Own your own lane, authority through writing. And at this point, I can now send, if I click these three dots here, I can go view it on YouTube. I can go view it on, I can view it on LinkedIn. I can view it on YouTube. And if I do invite guests, here's where I get the link that I'm going to send Michelle. So that's good to know. So at this point, I actually want to go view it on LinkedIn, but I'm going to actually just go, go to LinkedIn and find it there. Okay. So if I go to LinkedIn, and I'm going to just show you too. If I go to, let me refresh this. So here's my YouTube channel. And there we go. Upcoming live stream, because that's the way I set up my YouTube page, that it shows the very upcoming live stream. So here we go. And as you can see, it pulled through the title. It pulled through the description. And people will see this on my YouTube channel so they can click notify me so that they'll get a notification that the live's coming. So that's kind of cool that that's that. And if I wanted to actually get the link for this, then I can just come down here and copy this link and I could send that out in an email or whatever I wanted to do. But I wanted to show you how creating it in StreamYard pushes it right through to YouTube and people will see this counting down. So I think that's really, really cool. So there you go. So let's go back to LinkedIn. So I want to see it. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my LinkedIn page and I should see the live here on LinkedIn. So, yep, there it is. Okay. So what I do is I go to show all posts and then it actually creates a post and an event. It actually creates two things on LinkedIn, an event and a post. So what I want to do is, first of all, I like to go and edit the post because I want to put the, um, I want to make sure that I've tagged Michelle and tagged me. So I'm going to come up here to the three dots and I'm going to copy edit post. And if I come back up to the top, if I put in the at symbol, now I can just kind of start moving along. And there's Michelle. And I'm also going to tag myself. And there's me. So I can come through here. I kind of tag people a couple times too, because I just think the more times people can come here and click over to them, that's good. And I think she's got a business page called Stand Out Women Media. That's it. So now I've tagged her company page as well. And there you go. I'll just go ahead and tag her one more time. And there we go. Okay. And then I have a little note on how to join the live stream because I don't assume that everybody always knows everything. 
And so then I tell people, you can either click attend and this and that, or on the day of the live, the date and time of the live, just go to my LinkedIn banner and you'll see this live, which is kind of a cool thing that LinkedIn does. Okay, and so I put a link there as well. So now I'll go ahead and I will click save. So there we go. So now if I look at the whole post, you see that I've tagged the company page, I have tagged um, Michelle, I've tagged myself, and of course, there we go. So we've got everything there. So then the next step is, I then like to take all this information, so I just go ahead and I copy it all the way, all the way through. And this is not something you have to do, but I like to do it because I like to get the best bang. Whoops. Let's do it again. Just copying. All right. Copy. And then I go to the event post now. And if in the event post right now, there's no description and there's no speakers. So here's the actual post, but if people just come to the event itself, they don't see this. So what I like to do is I come in here and I click add speakers, and then I would put Michelle B. Griffin, there's her, and then myself. And then now we are both added as speakers and she'll get a speaker invite, so I think that's good. And then this way, it links to her page and all sorts of other good stuff. And now I'm gonna paste in that description. So there's the description that I copied over. And then every once in a while, this kind of messes up. And so I always make sure that the time is correct. So if I'm gonna make any changes here, I just wanna make sure I haven't messed it up. I don't know why LinkedIn does this, but um, I just always make sure that it's set to my time zone, Pacific. So Pacific time and the time of my live is 10 a.m. Because I did this once and LinkedIn messed up the whole time of my live. And I don't w actually want an end time of an hour, so I, d I don't want an end time. I just put the start time. So starts at 521 at 10 a.m. and it is in Pacific time. And we've already got the speakers, so now I click save. Okay, there we go. So now I see live Tuesday, 10 a.m. It's gonna be in my time zone, my local time zone. And uh, look, at, we've already got two people that have attended and you know, I haven't even done anything, so that's kind of cool. So now what I like to do is I like to tell my guest that I am doing this live. So if I click here where it says share, I just, um, I could send it in a message, but I just copy the link and I come over here and I will go to Michelle. So here's Michelle and I will just say, uh, Michelle, um, I have scheduled our live for Tuesday when you have a moment please accept the speaker invite thanks Enjoy. and then I put the link here actually I don't want to send her the event link I want to send her the post so actually let me go back out I just like sending people the post as opposed to the speaker invite because it's a better way to find the comments. It's always hard to see the comments on the event post. So let me just go back and here we go. Here is the actual post as opposed to the event. So now I'll go ahead, paste that in, get rid of that gobble the gook at the end and hit send. And if I hit refresh, you'll see in a second that it's going to actually show the link 
plus here is that post so that she can just click on that or she can look in her speaker notifications and accept the speaker invite that way. So then the next thing I'd like to do is send them the link to attend. And so if I go back over to StreamYard where it says invite guests, I can copy that link and I'm going to copy that. And now I'll go back over to LinkedIn and I just will say, here is the link to, yeah, I'd do this. Here is the StreamYard guest link that for you to use on Tuesday. So there we go. There's the StreamYard guest link. And now when she wants to go to StreamYard, she just clicks that and it goes into the studio. And the second thing that I do is I usually take that link and I also copy it and I send it in an email as well because I just don't want them to be running around at the last minute going, oh, I don't remember where the link is. Sometimes they come in through LinkedIn, sometimes they prefer to come to their email. So that's what I like to do is allow them to go either way. So there we go. That is how I schedule my lives in StreamYard.